Are you going places or left behind without a travel companion? Listen to how you can travel more independently. Dr. Mary Travelbest will bring you the best tips and her travel mistakes so you can benefit. Welcome to Dr. Mary Travelbest's Independent Travel Guide. This is for women who travel, who want to travel, and especially for those who want to travel independently. I wrote and published the best-selling book CDN website, The World's First Guide to Independent Travel. And since 1993, I've been running a marketing business, raising four children with my husband, and been a university professor while traveling. These travel experiences are necessary tools, so I want to share them so you make your trip the very best, like travel best. In this episode, the FAQ is Single Supplement Shopping. The destination is Little Rock, Arkansas. The lesson learned is cutting out stress. And the tip is tooth smart travel. So the FAQ now is, should you pay a single supplement or negotiate for a lower rate? So the answer is, what's a single supplement at first? So a single supplement is a charge paid by a solo traveler to compensate a hotel or cruise line for losses incurred because there's only one person staying in the room or the cruise ship cabin. Most hotel rooms and ship cabins are built under the assumption that at least two people will occupy them. So what does that mean to you? You will be required to pay them. Yeah, sometimes a vendor will require it, but it is negotiable. So you should negotiate for a lower rate or move on to a vendor who's willing to work with you, if that's your choice. So don't settle for the first price when it comes to a single supplement. Your pocketbook may thank you later. Now for Let's Talk About Arkansas, especially Little Rock. And we'll cover some other areas too. So depending on where you live, Arkansas may be one of your last U.S. states to visit. Like for me, I don't know anyone who lives there, so it was not a natural place for me to visit. However, it was worth the effort. So I visited on three different trips during COVID. Arkansas is called the natural state. There are six regions within the state, and I visited all of them. You may do a weekend getaway to Arkansas and enjoy the Ozarks, which I'll talk about in a minute, the golf or just hanging around the rivers. My first stop was Little Rock, and the downtown area had some beautiful river views. There was an outdoor museum honoring the founders and first settlers. The Clinton Library is closed during COVID, but the outdoors area was very scenic. There's still a lot to do downtown along the river, and it's an easy drive from places like Memphis. My second trip was to Hot Springs, which is a beautiful scenic spot, even with what I had was a huge thunderstorm. I also got some nasty poison ivy here, so be careful. Hot Springs National Park is an American national park in central Garland County, Arkansas, and it's close to the city of Hot Springs, the county seat. The hot spring water has been popularly believed for centuries to have medicinal properties, the subject of legend among several Native American tribes. And the city has been home to Major League Baseball, spring training, illegal gambling, speakeasies, and gangsters such as Al Capone, and horse racing at Oak Lawn Park. There's also an Army and Navy hospital, and that's where U.S. 42nd President Bill Clinton is from. So where are those Ozarks we talked about? The Ozarks are also called the Ozark Mountains, the Ozark Plateau. It's a physiographic region of the U.S., and it includes Missouri, Arkansas, Oklahoma, and the extreme southeastern corner of Kansas. My third trip in Arkansas was driving all the way across from Oklahoma from west to east. So I stopped near Fayetteville. I stopped in a town called Alma, Arkansas, for a break from that long drive. I recommend you get out and see the beauty of the state. You can also drive on Highway 14 and see small towns with names like Oil Trow, Newport, and Mountain View. And I saw a lot of bridges in Arkansas with trees that are growing in water. 
And that's a memory that I wanted to share with you. Now for today's lesson learned. It's getting overwhelmed when I travel. Stress got to me. Yes, even Dr. Travel Best has become overwhelmed at times. I have needed to lower my level of stress from the high peaks. So here's what I did to kill the stress. I had let things bother me. And then I started praying for relief and patience. It worked. I recovered quickly when the stress was removed. So it really felt like relief. So keep your tension level low. It helped me to control my body and lowered my blood pressure, helped me think clearer and maintain good physical health. So if you reduce your stress and stay relaxed, I'll do the same. Now for today's travel advice, tooth smart travel. I want to do this especially because I went to the dentist yesterday. So here are some things for tooth smart travel. Keep your supplies like floss and toothbrush handy. Skip the travel cases and air dry your toothbrush. Choose carry on for your travel toothbrush and floss. And here's this one. See your dentist before you leave home. You could have air trapped in your teeth and it could expand or contract at extreme altitudes and cause pain and more damage. This condition is called tooth squeeze and can also occur when you're scuba diving. So lastly, please stay on your routine, even when you're in a new location. I've got show notes with more helpful details there. And I do want to bring meaning to your travel. So thanks for listening. If you want to know more, just search for Dr. Mary Travel Best. You'll find me on the web, social media, and in audio. Helping women travel best is my goal. Please tell me what's on your bucket list. What's on your travel bucket list? Tell the doctor and her team of women who travel the world seeking the very best. Dr. Travel Best, that is.